Hi, I'm Linus, one of the content creators at Panamir.com, and I really don't understand people who work with Oracle Cloud on the one side, but don't have a Panamir profile on the other side yet. And I know, big claim. But do you know any other place where you can not only see all Oracle Cloud work in the world centralized by the click of a button, but also learn Oracle Cloud for free and get better every day? What other place allows you to build a digital brand exactly for your expertise, taking it directly to market and eventually even promote your special skill set in the form of services? It's a fact that Panamir.com is the best place to make money in the Oracle Cloud world, period. And that's why in this video you will learn how to create an optimal profile to really get the best value out of the platform. First, let's take a quick look at the registration process, even though it's pretty intuitive. So how do we register and build a converting profile here on Panamir.com? Well, the first step is obviously to create a profile. The next step is to verify your email address. Step number three, and this will be the main part of this video, is how to complete a profile. You will see we have a lot of different options and filters, everything very specific to Oracle Cloud, and we will go over this in just a sec. Then after your profile is complete, you want to apply for validation. This is a new process that we developed and I'll go over that in just a second. But basically we are very aware that we don't want to become the next LinkedIn when there is a lot of bots, fake profiles, phishing, mails, scams, right? And then as soon as we validate your information, you will get access to Panamir's full potential, meaning buying and selling, or in your case, selling, services, talking to recruiters, finding jobs, finding work, discussions, whatever we have. So now let's jump onto Panamir and I'll show you how to create a great profile in just a matter of minutes. Here we are on the website and as I told you, it's pretty straightforward. First, we wanna go to sign up up here. As soon as you're in here, you will see two different options. You can either sign up as a service provider, that is the talent here, or a service buyer. That is what we call a recruiter here. We will probably change the wording, but we are currently in beta as I'm shooting this right now. So don't be confused when we go through the videos and I talk about service provider. Talent is the old word that we had for a service provider. So I'll fill in my personal information here. You would obviously put your personal information and not mine. And then you want to agree to our terms of service. If you need more information, just click on here and it sends you to the right page. Let's check this box for now and then click on sign up. And up here in the right, you see a notification. Your account has been created. What you will see, it sends you right into this page here where you can edit your profile. And we have two notifications up here. First, our email is not verified and then the profile is not validated. So instantly after you created your profile, you will get this email here telling you to verify your email. As I said, pretty straightforward and nothing new. Just click on the link and this will verify your email address. And it says your account has been verified. Now you're again at the home page. So how do you get to the view that we had before to edit your profile? Well, you want to hover over your profile up here, then go to settings and click on edit my profile. So here is where you see all the information that you can put in for your profile. And that is a lot. So let's start at the top. So as you can see, you have been assigned a Panami ID and this is what will be shown on your profile. Now let's go from top to bottom. Now let's give some information about the rate that we are usually billing per hour. I'm currently between 90 bucks and 120 bucks depending on the contract. Now my phone number defaulted from my profile and now what's important is to add a tagline. A tagline is kind of your title. So here you see I opened another window and did a search for one particular resource. And this here is the tagline, Oracle Cloud P2P OBN Optimization Specialist. And if I click on the profile, you will also see that in big letters here. So that is very important. Let's find a catchy tagline. I'm an expert in Oracle Cloud SCM. I just don't want to say only SCM. A good idea is to have your specializations, especially the business processes. For example, if I'm an expert in order to cash or procure to pay or source to settle or whatever, put this in there because recruiters or projects implementers are searching especially for these terms. So for my case, I'll add Oracle order to cash O to C optimization specialist. Something that gives people an idea of what is this guy doing? 
Now the next field that we have is this details field. And this is what you will see here when you go to the profile down here. I'm not going to waste the time writing this whole text down for now. I'm just going to copy what Scott has in here. But what I would suggest you is obviously not to copy that, but taking this kind of a structure where you have a line here and then maybe list your skills and um, bullet points down below so that it's easy to read like you see here. Now we want to scroll down. We have the languages field. Let's put English in here. And let's say my level is professional. Then what type of talent you are? And that is interesting because it really shows you we developed this specifically for IT or more specifically for Oracle Cloud. Just to give you an idea, if you don't exactly know where you belong there, application specifics are what I am, for example, a functional consultant for order to cash, procure to pay, inventory, manufacturing, etc. Operation specific would be, for example, the warehouse manager or the manufacturing supervisor working with Oracle Cloud in the company. Project specific are, for example, project managers. And then tech specific is a little bit more techy, as you might have guessed, for example, you specialize in past development, write code. For my case, I'm application specific. Now let's upload a profile photo, select file, portray, open. Now you can select a banner photo and this is currently set to talent and just a blue background. For the moment, I will just leave it like that. You could put something nice like virtual background if you want it. Just remember to not include your company's logo or your personal details because that's against terms of service. Now my location, I'm in North America right now and my address allow this click on this thing here so this will default your location this may be especially interesting if people are looking for you to travel or something like that that is why we have this location enabled and down here you can select the skill we have a big list of skills that you can choose from now let's say cost accounting then i say i have four years of experience and i click on add skills the same i will do for something different let's say manufacturing and there I only have three years of experience and I add that. And these will also show up on your profile. So as you can see here on Scott, when we scroll down on the right side, you have these nice animated, let's say, progress bars where 10 is the maximum. And for every of these applications, he has over 10 years of experience. Now, of course, what's very important is don't forget to save and update your information here. So let's click on that. Now, after saving, you will get some new information. If you click over here to the burger symbol on the left, you will now see your profile picture, your Panami ID, you will see your tagline over here, and it tells you profile health is at 70%. We always want to get it up to 80% before we apply for validation, and I'll show you how to do that in a sec. First, let's click on view my profile to see how it looks if you load it right now. Pretty awesome, right? So let's get back into the dashboard. And what you want to do is close the side panel here again. And you see up here, you have a lot of different tabs and we don't have to go through everything right now and not everything is required. Experience education is obviously where you put your university degree, stuff like that. And you have different projects. These won't work yet for you. They only work after you actually finished a project on panemy.com. But you can then put a link and your review and everything in here. Awards and certifications is where you would upload a certificate, for example, from Oracle or from one of our free trainings. Profile videos you also probably don't have yet. And then we have two more things down here. We want to add specializations and industry experience because these are the things that projects and recruiters look for. For example, if we have a hospital, they always look for somebody who has some experience to some degree in healthcare already. So this is where we put in the industry experience. Go in here and let's say, for example, right now, I want to work in um, healthcare. And I have five years of experience in healthcare, total inventory management, etc. Now, I could add some others, like, for example, I have some years in government. I always click on this button. Now, scroll down, click on save and update. Now, the last thing that we want to add is the specialization. And the specialization is for example, in my case, SCM. It may be, as I said, we are currently in beta. It may be that we add order to cash, procure to pay, stuff like that. But for now, just select 
you are an SCM resource or you're working in HCM. And I am, for my case, working in SCM for five years. Before that, I did procure to pay, stuff like that. So I will probably add another specialization for ERP because that is somehow, for some reason, how Oracle structures this. And I will say my total experience in ERP is 10 plus years. Add the specialization and then click on save and update again. And that's it. I actually just added an experience here. So one of your past experiences, what you did in previous jobs or on previous projects. And then if you go over here to the task panel, you will see your profile health is at 80%. So this is how you build a successful profile here on Panamia. Com. Now, the last step that you want to do is go ahead and apply for validation. And we won't go through this in this video because it's pretty much straightforward. You will be asked to upload some documents and at least one legal document like a driver's license so we can validate your personal information and we will go through all the rest of the information together to make sure that your experience is actually what you said it is. So make sure to double check your information before you move on to step number four to apply for the validation. So after we validated your profile, your profile here will be visible on public search. So recruiters, project system implementers will come to you and hit you up with matching job offers. Or you can go ahead, be a little bit more active and reach out to open jobs directly. That's why in the next video, I'll show you how you can reach out to open jobs directly and make an offer. Have fun creating your profile and then see you in the next one.